everybody. It's Ben and Beta. And I want to apologize for the background here, but I didn't have a great space to do this. So this is what we're going to work with for today. I want to talk to you today about the 4x4 Colorado Cloud Comfort mattress that you can purchase as an add-on with your 4x4 Colorado tent. This is the actual mattress that comes with the tent. And the general dimensions are about 60 inches wide in the widest part by 80 inches long. What I like about this mattress is it's nice and soft on the top. There is some decent foam inside of here, but if you're a size sleeper like I am, it just wasn't good enough for me. I was definitely feeling the ground in my hips and I was very sore actually after I slept on that mattress. As I've gotten older, it's just much harder to just fall asleep anywhere. But for me to sleep really well, I need a little bit more padding. When we went to 4x4 Colorado in their storefront, we were able to try out this mattress and we liked it quite a bit. So we definitely wanted to purchase that, which we did. But even though we did purchase this mattress, we wanted to try this one out just to see how it worked. We basically just verified that it's not the right mattress for us while we're out in the wilderness, but it might be good for people who only sleep on their back. You'd probably be fine. Or if you can sleep anywhere, this will be fine for you as well. So instead we opted for the Cloud Comfort mattress from 4x4 Colorado. And this is what it looks like for the Alto Mini. So when you get one of these mattresses, what do you get? You're gonna get your mattress in a bag, something like this from 4x4 Colorado. And you might be thinking right now, why do I have two of these? And I'll tell you that story in just a second. And then you're also gonna get this strap so you can store this pretty easily like over the winter or whatnot and kind of make sure that it stays nice and compact, which is pretty cool. And it also has a handle, which is nice. Now onto the story as to why we have two of these. And the story is pretty simple. When I went to 4x4 Colorado to have my tent installed, kind of right at the end, I was like, oh, that's right, I need to get my mattress. And Devin saw a mattress, he thought it was mine, and he gave it to me. And it turns out it was not the right mattress. This was actually a return mattress, so it doesn't hold air, and it wasn't the right size. But I didn't know that at the time until I got home and kind of unwrapped it sort of like this to check it out and it had some like water spots on it and uh, didn't hold air. It would fill up and you can get it to be pretty tight, but then after a little bit, the air would kind of leak out. And what's kind of cool about air foam mattresses like this is they kind of like to stay full to a degree so that you, you don't have extra air to give extra support, but the foam is actually going to give it some sort of structure and you can actually sleep on it even if you can't put more air in it which is kind of interesting. The cool part is I contacted 4x4 Colorado and they sent me the new one pretty much right away when we requested it, which is great. This one is specifically for one of their other models, the Stratus or the Nimbus. It's much smaller and it didn't actually fill out the footprint of the tent. We were actually a little bit worried at first when this one came that it wasn't gonna fill out the tent. But when we did get the tent, we did find out that it, did, it is gonna fit in there pretty much perfectly. It is 80 inches long and 60 inches wide. It also holds air exactly as it's supposed to, which is good. It's nice and soft on the top, which will be nice for sleeping. And I can't wait to get in the tent and try it this weekend. So if you're curious, one of their mattresses that we have loved in the past is Xped. This is the Xped Mega Mat Duo, and this is what we used to sleep on in our Tucson when we were doing our overlanding in that. This is an extraordinarily comfortable mattress, and you can kind of see the size here. So this mattress would fit in between the wheel wells of pretty much any SUV. And if you're car camping, I would definitely recommend this mattress. It was fantastic. And what's neat is you can see how similar these actually are. The big difference is, is this is a little bit softer on the top than it is here, but just a little bit and has like a pattern to it. But other than that, they're basically the same mattress. And then you can see thickness wise, they're about exactly the same as well, which just bodes well because this was a very comfortable mattress. We actually bought some extra foam we were gonna put on top of that mattress in our car. And we found out we didn't need it. That's how comfortable that mattress is, and that's kind of how comfortable I expect this mattress to be as well. Misty uses the X-Ped all the time at home to sleep on when her back is bad to watch TV, and she uses it for hours at a time, and it's completely comfortable, which is great. So you might be wondering, why do I have this set up here in this room? And you might think it's just for a YouTube video, but there's a tip here. If you've never had one of these foam air mattresses before and you pick one of these up, make sure before you go on your trip, you actually fill it up first and let it sit for a few days what that does is it'll help with filling it back up when you get to camp so that the, it fills up faster and fuller without having to, to blow in a bunch of air. It actually has two of these valves on here. And what these do is they allow you to either fill it up or deflate it really easily. So when you're filling it up, it actually has like a valve that keeps it going one way in. And when you're deflating it, you flip it around and it has a valve so it only lets air out rather than letting it back in. To get it completely flat, you do have to do a little bit of work of folding it up, but when it's completely out of air, it is quite flat, which means it's gonna fit in the tent really well, at least as good as the mattress that comes with the tent itself. So that's how that works. All right, so the next thing I need to do is sleep on this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the tent and give you the review on how does it sleep this weekend. 
In terms of letting air out, this is how it works. I'm doing this now because I need to get this inside of my tent before we head out. So first we'll take this off. This is what it would look like to inflate it. There are different tools you can use. We actually use the one from our X-Pad. It's a little hand pump and it works great. It's pretty quick. So now we're just going to get this out of here. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side here. So I generally find folding these is the best way to kind of get this to work. There is a nice crease in the middle to fold it. The other thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that this flap is out because that's how we're going to deflate this and not let air back in. So we just flip these around just like that and like this. Okay, and now we should be able to get air to come out and not go back in. Another tip is you can kind of hold these open as you do this. Make sure the air keeps coming out. And then as you kind of get it going pretty good, you want to actually kind of refold it. And that helps. And this is what you'd need to do if you want to put it back in its sack. And then you can see pretty much at this point, this will fit just fine in the tent without having a bunch of air in it. And now I should be able to put it inside my tent pretty easily. And obviously this is the downside of this type of mattress, but they are super comfortable. So it's a couple extra minutes of putting away, but if you really value sleep, it can be more than worth the time. All right, let's take a look at it, what it looks like with the air let out. So you can kind of see in there, it looks like there's gonna be quite a bit of space, but once this fills up, it should fill up all the way to the edges on the top and all the way to the edge here. But that's what it looks like. You can see up front there we have a knee pillow, a couple of Hest pillows, which are really comfortable by the way. All right, I'm gonna fold this back up and we'll give this a try this weekend. All right, we made it to camp and uh, it's a pretty good site. So quick update on the Cloud Comfort mattress. Basically, I just uh, opened the valves and I just kind of pressed these in on each side while I was standing here for just maybe a minute or two. And it's filled up pretty good already. It's not quite where I'd want it for the sleeping, but everything seems good. It stayed nice and flat the whole entire time, which means it doesn't have any leaks and that's great. So I'm really looking forward to sleeping on this tonight, but I just gotta put a little bit more air in. So there are a lot of ways you could do this. Sorry if it's kind of windy, by the way, but because we already have an X-Ped, the X-Peds come with this little inflator and I use this and this works really good. You could also use an electronic pump and that'd be fine too. But basically you just uh, you stick this end in this hole, kind of hold it there and put your other hand over that hole and it fills up pretty quick. All right, that didn't take too long and uh, we got a decent amount of air in here. I don't want too much because I don't want it to be too hard. You want enough to be supportive. Right now this feels pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. And you can definitely see that it does fill it up all the way, all the way to the edges and everything as well, which should mean really good sleep tonight. Of course, Rue's getting dirty. I should have set up her bed first. That's always a mistake on my part. Bed first for the dog. All right, well, it's morning. So how did we sleep in the tent last night with the Cloud Comfort mattress? That's a good question. And honestly, I slept quite good. This is the best sleep I've had the entire time. The one thing I would say is I probably would add a little bit more air than I did initially. I was just trying to kind of judge where it should be, but I think just a little bit more extra air in the mattress would have been good but none of my joints hurt, my back didn't hurt, my hips didn't hurt, none of that, which is a huge upgrade over the first time. But as far as thickness goes, quite thick mattress, which is great. If you can sleep anywhere, just go with the standard mattress, it's totally fine. If at all you want a little bit more extra comfort, that Cloud Comfort mattress is great. Definitely happy we picked it up. Overall, I would definitely recommend it. There is a downside to it, and that is you have to let the air out of it every time before you fold up the tent, and that's gonna take a little bit of time and energy but it is worth it in sleep for both Misty and I because we want to be able to wake up in the morning, feel energized, go out for hikes, and then be ready to take on multiple day trips. If you wake up and you're sore and you're tired, then it's just not as fun of a trip. I will leave links to everything in the description. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, share this out to anybody you think might find it interesting, and thank you so much for watching. Remember, live your life in beta, and we'll see you next time.